Hey, this is Mad Hatter, and I'm here today to show you how to convert a 3D model, like the Farnsworth model I have behind me, into a world, like you see behind me, using a tool I wrote and I've published for all of you to use. So, let's get started. So the first thing to do is to find a model. I'm going to go to Thingiverse, and I'm going to choose this Creeper model. If you don't have the ability to run on a computer, to run scripts that are uh, from unknown publishers, what I'm going to ask you to do instead is to post in the comments the thing number up in the web browser of what you found, and I will pick somebody next week who has put something in the comments, and I will make a video explaining how I converted it to. 3D model, play with it a little bit in my video, just you know, decorate it, and then we will uh, try again the week after. So, if you if you don't have a computer or you don't have the ability to run the script, that's fine. We'll just try to do it through the comments section. The way my script works, just like my other one that I published, executable in a Git repository as well as some Python scripts. You are welcome to run it in Python or in executable form. I wouldn't personally run executables off the internet uh, because I am paranoid about that sort of thing, so it's up to you. I'm going to browse for the model. Creeper.stl is that model I downloaded. Baseworld.mcworld. This is an important thing. It has to ha be a Minecraft world, and it has to be a uh, load the chunks that you want to use have to be previously loaded. So in this case, I included a world file that I have already loaded most of the chunks for in the 700 blocks around spawn. If you make a file that is so large that it that it finds a empty chunk, you will get an error message and it won't work. So I'm going to make this 50 blocks tall, starting at Y level four. We're not going to have any rotations to start with, and don't worry about the Excel sheets until later. If I hit make my world, it's going to run and it'll spit out here the number of blocks, the number of stacks of blocks, the number of shulker boxes that you would need to build. So I open up that. It's in my where my my STL file was at. It left me a MC world file. So. Next to the STL, there's an MC world file. I double click this. Minecraft will come to the Ford round. It says import started. Import successful. So if I save and quit, look at here, it says creeper. If I click on the creeper, I am inside. I don't want to be inside. So, so F1, I'm going to punch my way out. I'll replace those two blocks. I, uh, this is a common problem. You might spawn inside of your worlds. So now, if we look, this creeper is on his side. Just like on the Thingiverse website, he's laying on his side. So we want to rotate him. I'm going to try 90 on the x-axis. And make my world. It'll pop up here, load it, load the creeper. Now let's see, is he standing up? Oh, see, he's rotated face down. We'll save and quit. We'll try along the y-axis. Make world. Made. Jump in the creeper world again. Hey, okay. so now you see that he's standing up. So this is kind of the way I want it. If I wanted to rotate him at a 45 degree, I can do that too. It doesn't have to be 90s. So let's do a 45. 
Okay, make world, go to the file, double click the file, new creeper pops up, side, and now he'll be on a 45. So you can play with the rotation like that to get the creeper whichever way you want or however you whichever way you want your model to be to scale it now that is another setting that is in there see how it says 50 blocks tall here you can change that to 75 or 100 change to 75 hit make my world it'll make the world same rotation parameters all of that stuff so I go in here, creeper, another creeper world pops up. So now this guy is, once it loads, is a fair bit bigger. He's 75 blocks tall now instead of instead of 50. The 75 blocks is the whichever dimension is biggest. So if he's tall, it'll be 75 blocks tall. If he's wide, it'll be 75 blocks on the widest axis. So that's what you got to pay attention to when you're picking size. And again, it'll give me the number of blocks in the tool. Down here, it's 9,000 blocks instead of 4,000 blocks. So you can work with that. Now, the Excel sheet, if you've noticed, or if you've been looking at this at all, you'll notice I have a creeper.xlsx. If I open that up, in Excel, it's kind of an eye chart. I go to layer four and I'm going to select, select all and I'll make these smaller. So if you see here on Y layer four, there's a whole bunch of numbers. These numbers are the coordinates that you should place the blocks in the world. So by changing the X offset and Z offset, you can move the model to a different spot in the world so you know where to build. This is because we don't have access to Lightmatica or other similar mods in Bedrock right now. So for now, this is the best I could come up with. If you have a better idea, maybe leave it in the comments and we'll, and I'll see about making a change to add that in. This is, a template so you can now you know change your blocks out or shape it however you want the creative world is now yours you can, you can play with it so whatever you want to do with this to shape it to color it to make it look however you want that's up to you that's the freedom of this tool what I intend it to be used for is for you to figure out the general scale of a build or you attempt it in survival. So this may be the scale I want it. I might want it smaller, I want it, might want it bigger. And I'll you'll see more of that as we as we work with models that people the community asks for uh, me to play with. So this creeper here is just kind of a start, kind of an idea. I'm looking to all of the people who watch this video to give me the next idea. So post in the comments, post in the comments your model that you think I should do. The Thingiverse link is really helpful, or the Thingiverse model number, really helpful. If you find any that you'd like to see me do this on, I will pick one from the comments and do it next week. So you give me a model, I'll make it happen. This is Mad Hatter, I'm out. Bye.